Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. I have a new project for you today. It's something that I'm uh, working on so that I can complete some books. So lately we've been making just a variety of ephemera, different things. Uh, recently we made the little swatch pieces, the fabric swatches. We've made some tags. We also made full book pages, pages that can just be placed right in your book as is, just ready to go. There's a variety of them. We made some of the um, coffee filter envelopes. Anyway, I've got a variety of things that are now building up and, and I'm getting ready to put them in a book, but I'm just making a few more of the pieces. So what I want to do next is take a full sheet of just normal copy paper. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some belly bands. I'm going to make um, a master sheet all at once and then I'm going to do it cut it up so that I can use different belly bands for each of my books. Now my books are going to look different like this one's going to have more of a red tone with black accents this one's more of the like bright full bright full <laughs> bright pink things in it um, this one's more muted this one has some softer pink elements so you can see that are different things within it. This one's completely muted. So what I want to do, I want to make a page that's kind of neutral and that I can take it and I can add to it for whatever book I'm doing. So all I have to do is grab it and then I can complete it. So what I've done here, I've just grabbed a variety of neutral type pieces of paper, things that I'll be able to use, but then add to to, to go with the book that I have it for. I've got little scraps, little coffee dye things, music. Here's a part of one of those envelopes. Oops, that's we want these over there. Uh, some some paper, here's a dyed coffee filter, here's a little cut up um, doily, but I can put that in there, book page, this is an aged um, lined paper, some coffee dyed paper, there's some more music. So anyway, you get the idea. Just grab some papers and then we'll get going. So here's my sheet and I'm going to use just a glue stick and we've got it all cleared. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start taking and ripping and placing pieces on it. Now the pieces, they don't have to be teeny teeny tiny because we're going to be cutting this up. I'm going to cut it anywhere from like maybe an inch and a half, I'm guessing, to, um, to maybe, I don't know, two inches, three inches. I mean, just depending on what I want to use it for. And then I'll... So... I, you know, there's no, those are a certain size. This will be cut up. See, I love what this does. So when I do this coffee filter that I have dyed, I place it on there, and you can see how it just goes right over the top of the page, and then you can see through. Gosh, I love that. Just a nice element. I want to get some, I'm going to use some of this up here, I think. On that side. Going right over. So some of it I have to re-lift up and put down there because I, I needed glue on top of that area. So what I think I'm going to do at this point, rather than get ahead of myself, I was going to do it in a strip, but I'm just going to go ahead and start taking stuff and placing stuff down. Now this paper here that I'm placing down, it's I've not actually copy dyed it. It's just um, straight from the book. So I might even just put this whole piece at the top or in the middle, wherever I want it. But I'm going to put it at the top because I've got an edge. And then each page is going to have some music, but it's not going to look like a big block because it's all going to be cut down. Uh, I could have gone the other way. So as you do it, kind of look at the direction of what you're doing, of, what, of how you want it to lay. Like this one, the lines are going to be laying this way. If I had the paper going in the other direction, I could cut it this way with the music going down. So anyway, just something to keep in mind. This is a fun little one. Goes nicely here, I'd say. I just picked this up recently. It's actually like um, deli paper with text on it in it, and you can see through it also. Fun, fun, fun. So I'm going to put some of this down. I love this because you don't have to be exact. You can just keep on layering stuff on, putting it on, and not thinking too much about it. So this one does have some pink in it, so this one will be a great one um, to use when I do my the, the book that has the pinks in it. So I'll, I'll just be mindful of that, of that as I 
cut it up. So this is one of the printables I had and it had lace on it. So I saved that knowing I'd want to use it. And I'm going to put that right here. So I like doing it so that um, all my edges are ripped. I like the ripped edge look. If you want straight edges on yours so though, that's okay. Do whatever works for you. So with this one, I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go along the edge. I think that could look cool. So it's going up over my coffee die. So I'm going to do a little extra there. And this is just nice. It's just uh, it's just freeing because it's like there's no wrong way to put it on. Just give it a try. Give it a go. It's a, This is actually a great thing to do. If you're being stressed and you want to, being stressed, if you are stressed and you just want to do something, but you don't want to do something that you have to think too much about or put too much effort into, just, just do it. So I'm going to take this baby and put it right across here. Nice. And then after I get all these laid, I can make a decision if I want to, for example, go back over and sew some areas. I'm going to put that underneath like that. Which I might do. You can either sew it right away or you can um, go back and you can sew as you go, like as you have a project that you want to work on. I think I want to just kind of go over the top a little like that. It's kind of fun going through your pile too and just seeing, seeing what you've got, right? Just kind of whatever pops up at, yeah, like here's a little scrap. I'm just going to tuck it in right there just because I can. That one's going to go right there. It's not wanting to go right there, but it's going to go right there. So I think I want, want another piece like that there, and I'm going to grab another coffee dyed piece. So these are all neutrals, right? Pretty much so, because I really want to, I really want to have the option as I put it all together that I can change it to fit what I want it to be. Within my neutrals, though, like this one here, you can see I have um, dark colored pieces within it. So like this is a darker hue than that, right? So you get a little bit of a variety going on. Here's some tickets that I have. I was thinking of trying to, maybe trying to just work a little bit of that in it. Oh, I love this paper here too though. It's got postcard on it. So, I'm gonna put that right over here. I'm actually gonna lift that up a little bit because I want it to go right under. Smack some glue on. Make sure it goes all the way. Okay, so I just have to say, I realized when I pulled that paper up, I had notes on the back of this one. <clears throat> I don't know what the notes were for. Hmm. Huh. Anyway, if you pull out paper, make sure you look at it to make sure you didn't write directions for something you were working on. Huh. Who knows what that is? So let's try a coupon. I do feel like I want it doled up a little bit. Now I can do that afterwards. I'm going to put it there. So as I'm going a little bit deeper here now, I, I am having to, I'm not having to, I am choosing to put some smaller pieces over my, um, the pieces that are larger. And so some of them like this one, 
it's great because you can see through it. So if you pick something um, like tissue paper or a napkin, I mean that's just great. Here's that envelope. Which so what the envelope will do? It's not an envelope. It's a right there. It's a pocket. It's a it's a, it's a it's a it's a so what that does it just kind of changes the look of it by keeping it still kind of the same. It just changes the intensity of the color that it goes over, which really is quite wonderful. So like if you had parchment paper, this would serve like parchment paper. I really like it. I like the, the feel that you get. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Okay. Laying it down. By the way, my arm is better now. It's no longer having to be held in. But now that it's better, I'm doing physical therapy. Oh my word, the pain is just incredible. So I, uh, that's a kind of just a little wake up there for me. I thought I was going to be over the pain, kind of, sort of, I guess. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm, I'm dealing with that. Okay, I think I want a little bit more of this. And I'm going to put it there. So even though that's wonderful, I put that there. Because it is clear, I mean, it's, there's nothing behind it, so I, I don't want it like that. Okay, so there is a wonderful page. I can choose to either do more there or on the top of this, like with this. And then a little more coffee filter is what I would like. Where is the coffee filter? Okay, I know it's here. I only used it once. Kind of a cool thing to put there. Don't you hate it when that happens when you know something's there and you just like don't see it? It just kind of like evaporates. I don't know what the world. Where'd it go? So I want to put a little bit more music in. Just a little bunch. I do love I do love music. This has a wonderful feel to it. So I'm gonna put that piece and I feel like I want one more piece just to kind of right down here. So I don't know where my coffee filter went. I'm heartbroken over it. Um, it just seems to have like evaporated. So what I'm gonna use is more of my little thing here. So like I say, you can use parchment paper, but I just want to create more for me. You certainly don't have to do it like this, but I just like the look of it going over areas and then just seeing through those areas. It just adds an added layer of interest and dimension without changing it like drastically. I like it. Big pieces, little pieces, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to cut this edge a little bit with some other, just a little bit. So what I'm going to do after all of this also is go back and trim it all up. So here's a piece of like little lace. You can put lace on yours too. I guess I was thinking that would be something I'd probably do more at the very end. It's not sticking on with this right now. This does work on fabric. I have, you know, like we used it on the um, fabric swatches. Work great. But maybe not for the moment. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry. Actually, I'm not going to let it dry. I'm going to give it a little bit of help.
Okay, now that I have that cut, not cut, now that I have that dried, I'm going to go back and just cut off these like scraggler edges just to make a nice little edge. You can use your cutting tool for that, your, with the blade. Or you can just grab your scissors like me, cut away. So the thing with this though, if you're feeling a little bit wild, you might end up like making a non-straight edge, which you know maybe isn't that big of a deal, but it might be a big deal. So just be aware of that. So I can either cut this right now into pieces or I can save it and cut as I go. Kind of like a piece of cake, right? You can either cut it all up and have ready, ready to go for everybody or you can cut it as you eat it. So let's see here. I'm going to cut one and I think I'll do one on this side and I think I'll do it how big do I want it? If I go two inches, I can always go smaller afterwards, right? Let me see. One and a half. I kind of like one and a half better, though. So I'm going to go one and a half inches. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to put my blade kind of in the middle. And there you go. So now I have the basis for my belly band. So I can grab... Let's say I want to, let's look through these and decide. So it could go with that one, for example. This is the one with the pinks I was thinking of. It, oh, I like it with this book. So I would do it with this one. I can do some stitching with my sewing machine on it. I can also go back and put other elements on it now, or you know, I can wait till I actually put it in my book and get inspired then. and. And decorate it up. I do love lace. I might also put a piece of lace of doily, doily on this later. And so I'm going to have like five belly bands because I think I'm going to do up like five books. I think that's the plan at the moment. So why don't I just go ahead and just cut them all up? Just do it. So if I want to do five bands, I want to go around the two inch. That'll give me five. If I go under it, I will get more. So I'm just going to do this one at the two inch and you can see it. So let me show you it also in a book. This is the size of book I think I'm going to use. So I'll have this much. That's what the, the page will be like. I'm going to actually put the coffee dyed paper in there though. But, but you can see how it's going to be. So that's that size. And then if I use the other size, it's going to be a smaller thing like that. I like it. It just it makes good use out of your time. Um, so it's just an awesome thing to do. So let's finish cutting up and see what we've got. Okay. I'm going to work on this side now and see how big I want that one. So I think this one cuts better. It's got a better look at the two inches than at the one and a half. I think I like that one at the one and a half. So this is an important thing here too. So like this part here wasn't quite dry yet and so what it did because my paper was moist it actually kind of scrunched up and uh, ripped through my paper a little bit. So do make sure that it, that yours is dry if you want it to have no ripping. So there you go. So from that one piece, I'm going to have enough for one, two, three, four, five, six books. Okay, so I went off camera and I took one of them and I just did some stitching on it. I stitched all the way around the edge because I wanted to make sure that all the paper was held down along the edge. When you push things in and out under the belly band, that area will get disturbed a lot and sometimes, especially with the uh, um, glue sticks not, not necessarily this particular glue stick I don't know I don't know if that'll hold it. it it'll probably hold it better but still just to be safe it gets disturbed and, and that paper might come up so I did that 
it's an option. I also just randomly took some of my fancy stitches on my machine and just added them to the little piece. So that's what my little card looks like. After that, I cut off all the thread. So I have this pile of thread and I took my glue and I just went to the ends of the places and just put a little glue dab. Because what can happen if you're a sewer, you know that your stitches can come up. And so by putting just a little glue on these areas at the beginning and at the ending where it's stitched, I know that my stitches are going to stay in place. So, so that's important to me. So I did that, took that extra little step. Not necessary, you know, all you, it might actually look cool if your stitches came out, right? So I'm going to place my thing in my book. This is the one that I'm going to match it up with, and I'm going to be placing it in this position with this curly stuff at the bottom. And so I had all of this thread, and so what I decided to do, I'm going to knit, make a little bird nest out of the thread. And what you do, you just kind of push it in, and organize it just to get that little circular shape, a little nest shape. And when you're satisfied with it, go ahead and glue it down. Now I'm going to kind of put it right in the middle of that little, that little, uh, let's see, what, what is it? That, that stitching has a special name. What is it? Buttonhole stitch. I believe that's what it's called. Buttonhole stitch. So I'm just going to work this and just hold it in. And as soon as it's a pretty little shape that I like, I'm going to place it down. Now I just turned my glue gun on, so I have to wait a moment for it to heat up. And that'll go right there. So within that, I want to place some little pearly things. And I have these. You can actually use pearls, or these are just ones that I got at the dollar store. Got little things on them little fabric stuff. Anyway, um, you just I got these just at the dollar store. It's a half of a pearl, so you're cutting down a little bit on that depth. But the pink will pick up from the pink in my other pages and just kind of bring that, that look kind of together. So what I want to do now is glue this down. Okay, so let's see if my gun is ready. Yep, it looks like it is. So I'm going to put a little glue down there, bring that in. Bring my pieces in a little bit. Get a nice little little area where all the thread is coming together, creating a nice little nest. So I'm going to work mine a little bit because I have a few areas that seem a little bit unruly. It's not a big deal. I can leave it like that and it's fine. I just want wanted a little bit more tight edge right there. So I'm just bringing it in just a little bit more. So I've got that. Now I'm going to bring my little beads in. I'm going to put three of them in there. If you get this from the dollar store, it has these little little pieces right in between each of the pearls. I cut mine, cut mine apart so that I don't have that extra little plastic part sticking on the outside. And I also glue mine down. Like sometimes the glue is sufficient and it sticks right from right from from this. Sometimes the glue is sufficient. Sometimes it is just not. And something like this especially, it's not sufficient. You want to use something else. So whether you use a hot glue gun or whether you use um, something like your Fabri-Tac, you want to use something that's going to be just a little bit more reliable to hold your sweet little eggs down. And one more. Oh shoot, I forgot to put the little feather underneath it. That's okay, I'm going to punt and figure out how I can do that. So I've got that. I think I want it just a little bit smaller. 
So I'm going to going to cut it down a little bit and maybe kind of place some at the bottom and some at the top like one piece right there and then one piece at the other side I don't want it too overpowering so I'm going to just clip a little bit off same with this one. It's just, it's a lot of feather for that little nest. So I'm going to clip a little bit of away. But I like just that extra touch of pink from it. Okay. So, and what I can also do is go up here and some of these scraggler threads. I can trim it till it's something that I like. You can keep it really scraggly. It's an awesome look with that. So it's just whatever kind of look you're looking for for that particular piece. So I've got that. That's my little nest. So this will probably be cut off just a little bit at the top as I look at it. The part that I cut off right there, if I do cut it off, I can save that and use it someplace else in the book. So I think what I would like to do is put some fabric pieces in here, just adding a little bit more of a look and a little bit more textured. So I just happen to have this little polka dot piece sitting there. So I'm going to lay that in. A little more glue. I like that. And then I would like a little bit of topical lace. So let me find a little lace piece. It's kind of a scrappy lace. But I like it. And for this one, I think I'm going to use my glue gun. Um, the, the heavier lace, it just lays down better with glue gun. That's just, just does. And boom, there you go. So I like that. I'm going to stop right there. I think that'll make a nice little belly band in a book and it'll go with this page and I'll put other pieces together with it too so it's coming along so I hope you enjoyed that fun little belly band idea of how to use your time so that you can make multiple of them at once it's a time saver plus it's just something that you can do without having to put a lot of thought and energy into it but it has a big impact is something that you can use for a lot of different things. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you tried making it and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Talk to you later. Bye.